September 5th uh, fist meeting. Everyone's presence up great with Halt and uh, who else? Ray Bricolt and who else I needed anybody? Caitlin. Caitlin? Caitlin's no longer on. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> That's it then. Okay. Uh, senior Center, uh, review and vote and put proposed contract to change order. So, John, you want to explain it? Sure. So, uh, before you tonight, you have change order number three. Uh, we kind of had to rush this because the contractor. So this, a large part of this is site work and the site contractor just returned to the site the other day and he needs this to know that he can continue with some important work. So there's two items on this change order. The first item is a request that we uh, had from the committee uh, to basically alter the street sign that we had, which was modeled after the police station, to one that was modeled after the town hall sign here on site. So we prepared drawings, we, we got prices, we argued the prices a little bit. And we got a, uh, actually a little less expensive sign, basically $1,400 savings. So there's a deduct of $1,400 <coughs> to do that um, sign that's gonna be uh, a facsimile of the town hall sign. The other item on here is revised storm drainage. So- uh, That's a deduct too, right? I wish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, um, during the work, and this is basically probably three months ago, maybe longer, uh, when the contractor had dug the foundation and was now trying to do the uh, stormwater and the utilities, we, were, we had some pipes crossing, storm drain pipes crossing the front parking area on the south side of the building. And he came across some rock. Not only was it rock, it was very um, difficult rock to hammer and remove. It was harder than the rock elsewhere on the site. And uh, the, so we went ahead and did some exploration and we found that that whole parking lot was almost like a plateau of rock. So um, <coughs> what we looked at doing was trying to design, redesign the stormwater system so that we didn't have to cross this, this, up, uh, this large amount of rock. So the site designer went around and did a secondary design moving the stormwater from some of the stormwater from going south to the retention basin we have there to having some of it going around and leaving the site on the north he still had some capacity on the north <coughs> to discharge some water uh, the way the stormwater reaches you can't send more water off post development than was going pre-development there was water traveling north off the property before uh, gallons per minute or whatever it was and we're not exceeding that so it's it's permissible by the rules of the planning board so in that redesign uh, what we were able to do was uh, basically we had to repitch some of the pipes that were already placed for the um, stormwater system that goes around the building picks up the roof drains basically and we had to re-divert that so that it would go north instead of to base instead of go south uh, as a result Contract came back with a change order for the for the, for the total price of this, which was um, a, a very high number. Uh, it was basically up, started up over thirty thousand. Um, we basically argued, worked with them a little bit to, to try to save some cost, and basically we had a big tete-a-tete -tete last week at the before you guys for the record meeting, and we were stonewalled. We were at a certain number. The contract was at a certain number and uh, we did the Solomon thing and split the baby and everybody agreed to go in at half what they wanted. Compromise is painful for both. So uh, we ended up around 22, 23,000 uh, as the net cost for this. The, what you should be comparing this to is if we didn't make this change, you would have had rock excavation in the, in the amount of about a thousand yards and it would have cost a minimum of $85 a yard. So the, the good news and the bad news is this is actually saving you the upcharge of an $85,000 <coughs> change for $23,000. Anybody have any other questions about that? Seems like a no-brainer. Right, you? This is, the, is this the last change I got? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the last agreement. change order called number three. Yeah. <laughs> is it presented to the serious question? This is still site work. This is site work. So, uh, I mean, that's got to be just about done, I would assume. Well, they paused for a while while the building was being built, but now they're ready to come back. They've got to knock out the water, the sewer, uh, put the pump up, and do the stormwater design. Right now, they're doing the basin, and then they got to do the pavement. So they're going to be full bore into October. When I'm talking site work, yes, all dig, site work. Digging, digging down where we can hit rock like this, that's mm -hmm. still, it's still a possibility, it's still a possibility. that will happen in other areas. Yeah, they hit rock today. There was a, uh, one pipe going from the building to a storm line, and they hit a little bit of rock. I'm, well, a little bit, I'm, I'm, I don't know the number. I'm, somebody's just a little, I'm thinking less than 10, 20 yards. But they hit a little bit of rock. It was a short line, but they did hit rock. Tony saw it. Our site designer saw it. They all measured it. It's all no but there was some rock today uh, are they likely to hit more rock it's possible we still have to finish the sewer and uh, <coughs> don't think we'll see anything. don't know what we'll see with the water line are the we, water line's deeper where are we at with rock allowance is that all used we, we're all used up yes so anything we hit now is it's contingency okay and even the allowance was contingency because it was uh, a unit price so we have an agreement on unit prices. We have a method in which to track the contractor. We only pay for a certain amount of rock. If he overestimates, we don't pay for any overestimation. We just pay for what's minimally necessary to put in the trench. <coughs> so all these test holds that we did. Yeah. We found rock in some areas, and in some areas we did not find rock. And, and right next to it was an area of rock. Um, well, kind of borings are notoriously for just telling you what's under that six inch cone. Right, so they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of a waste. Um, because it seems like all this, we did the holds and we did extras, I think, right. and we're still having these yeah, huge the, issues. Yeah, the DPW went around with Tony and they did, they did some additional excavations to try to find things. We were also trying to find out if there was an old building foundation left which, behind. Which there was. Which there was, but we didn't find the piece of it, it where we dug it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, a, I'm, it's unfortunately hit or miss, no pun intended. Um, so in the, is Ground the, penetrating radar might be the next thing. I've used that on our project in, in Rockport, of course, rock. And we actually used ground penetrating radar because we knew we had rock to figure out the height of it so that we could measure it and, and put that in the contract. So is, this, is the site guy back on site? We've had some yes, issues. Yes, he with started him, this week. We? He started this week. We've had some issues. Are they all with the site guy? He's there. He's working. It's all good news. So the issues are behind us? Yeah. No, he's still grumpy. <laughs> But he's working. Yes. He would love to be done with this job, and we would love him to be done with this job. And we're not. And we're, we're not. still moving. No, we're still moving. But the, the work ahead, hopefully, is above the rock and above the issues that we've had. All right. Is there anybody else? All right. Do we have a motion? I make a motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? One quick question. Do you know what the contingency will be left? Uh, Tony sent an email. In the, the, you the back of it. your packet, there's an email from Tony DeLuzio. He's saying that, um, I, I assume it means pre this change order. No, but actually post. He said oh, post. To okay. After so change. even after approving this, we'll still have a current contingency of $194,800. And what did we start with, Pat? 311. Right. It's in the budget here. 311. The line above it says 311.5. Yeah. That's what we started originally with? Yeah. And the email comes. Which was 311, and we have 194 left. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's going we'll get, fast. Hopefully, we? we'll get some back from yeah. the pool. You know, that, uh, that don't, even, don't even, don't even, that if, if we do it, it'll be years from now, so we're not even gonna do don't, we don't think figure it in this project. This 19480 is going to have to cover everything else on mm -hmm. the contingency. Yeah, we're a good fit for some through the project, I would say. We can cover most of it at the beginning of the project. So, so of all the pipes and everything those. across the field, those have all been dug? No, the water pipe is not. Is that going to have any impact on on the kids' field? Like, I'm not sure where you are. Next no. season? Uh, well, the kids' field isn't in the, in the best shape to begin with. But no, it, we'll put it back the way it was, which unfortunately is the way it was. But uh, PACS facility and PACS commission are talking about doing some work to that project. It won't Down the be, road. It yeah. won't be. It won't be part of this project, but yeah. they're talking about doing some work. Yeah. Well, they wanted to get my engineer to do the project under this contract. 
if it was kind right. of goofy. Good. I just want to make sure they're not impacted negative. Yeah, the, the field the field's still going to be a bad field after they, they leave. Yeah, we didn't hope it. We didn't hurt it. Hopefully, it will be I'm seated sure. this fall and able to be used in the spring. That's unless the unless the parks yes. and the parks facility do something unless they, they dig do it all out. Okay. Right. Okay. But right. it's part of the contract. It has to be reseeded. Right. Yes, and right. and oh, put back the way it was. Yep. And if it's so, not, then we'll. But if we they need money, if they dig this out. If they dig it up and do some work on it, the parks facility, then obviously you're not going to come and see it. Well, uh, the parks is involved, and they have to repair their own work. Right. Okay. All right. The site uh, site work guys, are they still starting at 7 a.m. or before? I think 7 a.m. is the start Can time. Can you make sure on that? Some of them. We'll ask, this? but um, I've been there early, and <coughs> they are on site, but nothing starts until 7. Have yeah. you heard anything? Yeah. There is a complaint. Yep. Okay. All right. The same person. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Any other discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, what else do we have? We have anything else? Anybody have anything else? Uh, next meeting is next Wednesday at 7, September 12th, 12th right? September 12th. Yep. All right. Any motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.